In May 2017, phone users formed long queues at different SIM card registration centers as they moved to beat the deadline for SIM card registration, even after the deadline had been extended a couple of times. This followed a directive by Telecom Sector Regulator, the Uganda Communications Commission, UCC, to all telecom companies to have their clients register their SIM cards. The directive came two months after the brutal murder of the then police spokesman, Assistant Inspector General of Police, Andrew Felix Kawesi, his driver and bodyguard. The assailants reportedly coordinated their gruesome mission on phone. <laughs> However, almost a year later, security agencies are grappling with a new wave of murders, kidnaps and fleecing of money, mainly through unregistered SIM cards. Cabinet has now ordered the Uganda Communications Commission to investigate telecom companies with unregistered SIM cards in use and report back in 14 days. Airtel Uganda has been singled out as the firm with the bulk of unregistered SIM cards in circulation. The Minister of ICT and National Guidance briefed Cabinet that the Uganda Communications Commission had been directed to commence investigations into, her, into how some alleged Airtel numbers were got with wrong or forged identities by suspected criminals. Okay, this is a subject of an ongoing investigation and therefore we cannot comment on it. The directive came hours after the police recovered the body of Susan Magara at Chigo in Wakiso district. The youthful lady was kidnapped on 7 February near her home in Lunguja, a Kampala suburb. She had been missing since then. The kidnappers had been calling Magara's family using unregistered SIM cards and demanding ransom. Minister of Information and Communication Technology Frank Tumwebaze says a security brief to cabinet revealed that the numbers used by the kidnappers have no identity, yet they are active. It is true I can use somebody's identity card to falsely acquire a number. But again in the system, it would show whose name and identity it was registered against. But these are pure numbers with no identity, yet they are active. Some members of parliament faulted UCC for failing to rein in on non-compliant telecom companies. They have no capacity really to investigate some of these things. Even if they investigated, I don't think there is even goodwill, both in the government and in the security, to pursue up to the, to the, to the last dot. Any telecom phone to have allowed unregistered SIM cards, okay, be used. Number one, it means it's dodging government tax. Number two, it has caused a lot of damage in terms of crime. How will you value the, the life of this young lady who has died? But UCC is aware that these companies have unregistered SIM cards and it has done nothing because it is also aware that it also has personal or, or, or weaknesses. Herbert Ziwa, NTV. Sanga, kabin tianda gide, yada gide mesa YCT, but tu sanga, mkampu nezo, zizine vizivu, tugenda kuzikuba uh, echivone rezo chamanyi, ilaba chitegi ilaba, penalty is not good, is would be.